Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Dennis. So if you saw last week's video, you'll know that I reviewed an X570 Phantom Gaming for motherboard. So one of the features that that motherboard had was the ability to put an M.2 key E, little, uh, little small device, into a slot and make the motherboard wireless. So today's video is about that, showing you how you can go about getting it, know you got the right one, and discuss a little bit about how otherwise you can get it. And I'm going to show you how easily it can be done. So here we go. Okay, so here's the motherboard I reviewed last week. And here's another device I reviewed a long time ago, which is the Asus PCE dash AC 55 BT. Basically that is an AC wireless with Bluetooth. However, it plugs in with the adapter and everything like that. But this device that goes in here is basically the same slot as you're going to find on your motherboard here. All right. So all you have to do is unscrew it here and then put it on to your motherboard. And it's going to function the exact same way as if the adapter was in it. So let's go ahead and show you quickly how to do that. Now, in case you're wondering, it's AC 1200. So latest standard, pretty good speeds, and that's what you're gonna want. So basically, you have a little screw here. You just wanna go in here and just undo it. It's in there pretty tight because they may never plan on people probably taking it out. All right, so just be careful in case you wanna reuse this in the future. All right. Keep your screw, and it is basically, actually, now I didn't know this before, it's basically the same size as your M.2 screws, so the little tiny ones that come with your motherboard. So if you don't have this, or you just have this little device, that'll work too. So it just comes out, right? Take the little plastic thing off, you don't need that. Take this out, now you see it's got a little connectors, but you're not going to need those, okay? So just disconnect them. Simply go to your M.2 Wi-Fi. So I'm going to zoom in just so you can see that. All right. So line it up on here. And it's just going to push right in. Okay. Put it down. Put your screw back in here. Oops. Finish putting it all the way down. And that's it. It's secured. You now have a wireless motherboard. Okay, simple as that. Now, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to show you it working and show you the testing and speeds and all that. But if you want to look at the speeds, you can just check out the uh, review I did on this um, wireless adapter with the Bluetooth, and you'll see the speeds anyway. It's going to perform exactly the same way. I just wanted to show you an easy way to get this because when you search to try and find this, E, uh, Wi-Fi M.2 E key, it's not easy to find. So, it takes up very little real estate. It's not going to get in the way of your graphics card or your M.2s or anything like that. It's designed to be like that. I now have a wireless motherboard. And you know what? It's going to work just great. So, if you want to go ahead and do that route, you can. Or, you could just leave it in the adapter and plug it into one of these little slots here, the PCIe 1 slots okay you've got two of them on this motherboard and you can do it that way too either way it's going to be the exact same thing all right everybody so i know this is pretty quick there's not lots to it and i know some of you are going to say well oh, how do i know it works and i was going to it works i can guarantee you it will work and i'll prove it to you when i do a future build and i'll show you the wi-fi speeds and all that kind of good stuff but if you doubt me don't get it it's up to you so anyhow if you like that video hit that like if you don't you know what to do hit that bell for future notifications and if you're new here, think about subscribing. And once again, thanks for watching.